Good morning, everyone. Thank you all for participating uh, in this webinar on a Tuesday morning. First of all, I would like to confirm that my audio is clear. Please leave a yes or a thumbs up on chat if, uh, if the audio is clear for you. Am I audible to all of you? Okay, perfect. Excellent. Okay, uh, I'm Sri Lekha, Marketing Analyst at Manage Engine and uh, the host of this session. Before we get into the session, I would like to take you all through the basics of the platform. At any point uh, during the session, should you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the questions panel. Alternatively, you can use the chat panel to uh, send your questions as well. Uh, in case you're facing any issues with the audio or the screen, please feel free to drop a heads up on the chat section. Again, alternatively, you can uh, refresh your screen and uh, you know get over the technical snag. Uh, finally, we will share the event resources, the slide decks, recordings, and the handouts uh, once the session gets over. Now, I would like to introduce you to the presenter of the session, Nisha. Uh, Nisha is an IT security specialist at Manage Engine. Uh, she is an enthusiastic uh, learner of uh, endpoint management and security trends in the market, uh, with an aim to enhance uh, the management process of uh, endpoint management process of IT administrators. Uh, she has hosted multiple product trainings, and uh, she understands the view and experience of uh, the end user from the questions raised, and also her regular interactions with the customer. Uh, in this session, Nisha will take us through the fundamentals of managing and secure, securing uh, modern endpoints and, and hybrid uh, environment uh, in the post-pandemic era. So without further ado, uh, I'm handling the control over to the speaker of the session, Nisha. And uh, please feel free to bug me on chat if you need any assistance. Uh, thank you. A very good morning to one and all present here. Thank you, Leah, for the introduction. So before we move on to the topic, let me make sure that all of you are able to hear my voice and also uh, view my screen completely. Do post yes or a thumbs up on a chat box for, to confirm the same. Do post yes on the chat box if you're able to hear my audio and the slide deck clearly. Yes, looks like we've received confirmations. Thank you for the same. And as you're all aware of, Today's topic is going to be about managing and securing modern endpoints in a hybrid work environment. So quickly, as Lekha introduced, my name is Nisha Balaji. I'm a product marketing specialist associated with Manage Engine's endpoint management and security suite of solutions. So during the course of the session, you can always raise your questions in the questions or the chat box or you can also reach out to me regarding any queries with this session or with the product via email. It is nisha.b at manageengine.com. So now let me quickly walk you through the agenda that I've planned for today's session. First up, we'll be seeing some basic or some most re recent IT management and security trends that is happening right now across the globe. We we'll also see the mandates, compliances, and regulations which are enforced and specified in the endpoint management market. Then we will see the challenges and also steps to adapt to this current dynamic work environment. Finally, I'll also be providing you tips on how to thwart and combat major cyber threats with just a few simple tricks. Finally, we'll also be seeing an overview of a complete cloud-based endpoint management solution. So without much further ado, let us move on to the topic and begin with a brief look into today's cybersecurity landscape. So here I'm going to throw you up a few numbers for you to get a gist of what exactly is happening in the cyber world. These were the stats that were collected in the first two quarters of 2020. Now, according to a research published in Arctic Wolf, there were 117 data breaches that were reported only in the first quarter of 2020. And about 1.5 billion records were breached. Now, you consider this number. This 
is the number which says that cybercrime has increased by close to 600 percent with the main reason being the COVID-19 pandemic. And these data and numbers just tell us only those reported breaches. There are numerous data breaches which go unreported or more sadly unnoticed. And you may ask on how exactly these cyber attacks or so many data breaches occur. Well, the answer to it is quite simple. All of the security threats begins with your endpoints. So what exactly do we term as an endpoint here? Any and every device that an employee uses to access their corporate files or uh, corporate files is considered an endpoint, which means all the corporate provided devices like your desktops, laptops, servers, point of sale devices, and mobiles and tablets. Now, this should also include personally owned mobile devices, considering the increase in the BYOD policy. Now, if you notice, I've also listed browsers as one of the endpoints because we all know for a majority of a cyber attack taking place in an IT organization's network, the source of every cyber attack is going to be from browsers. So browsers are considered the entry point of cyber attacks. So it is extremely necessary that we take equal measures to secure our browsers along with all the other endpoints in our organization. So we have started off this topic with endpoint security. So the question that will arise in each and every one of your mind is that why exactly is endpoint security a topic in the need of the art? Well, I'm sure this will answer your question. This is mostly the structure of every organization's IT network right now. With the pandemic being in place, Almost 90% of the organizations across the globe have adapted to the work from home or remote work policy, which means every individual of the employees have drifted to their remote locations are performing their corporate tasks from the comfort of their homes. Now, this may be comfortable for the employees, but for IT admins, this provides them a huge risk, which is because with uh, with a, a wider scale of employees moving outside or outside the corporate network, your IT security measures has to increase multifold. Because even if a tiny slip happens or a crack falls through your security layer, your entire organization's network security may be compromised. A research from Gartner has told us that the worldwide spending on cybersecurity is going to reach close to 133 billion in 2022, which is unsurprising considering the increase in cyber threats happening, even though there's a pandemic being in place. So when IT administrators and sysadmins are now looking out for cybersecurity tools, Endpoint management and security is one major concern for them. So when a person looks out for a tool to completely manage all your endpoints and security, they will have to ensure that these tools perform both proactive and reactive measures. Say it's going to be your regular application management or your usual patch deployment, and also with security features like completely securing your browsers, your network, getting a complete overview of all the devices connected in your network, all, in, all of these staying in compliant with the regulation and mandates specified by the local region. So endpoint management tools have gradually evolved over time, adapting to the needs of the recent organization's IT network. Starting off, a simple client management tool and moving on to enterprise mobility management. With the inclusion of mobile devices and tablets into the organization's network, 
gave birth to a holistic mobile device management solution. Now, combining the capabilities of all these three, be it your client management, your enterprise mobility management, and mobile device management, gave birth to a new term, which is unified endpoint management. So a UEM solution now ensures that you can manage both your legacy devices and modern endpoints, all of these from one single console. Such is the evolution of endpoint management. Now, with the evolution of endpoint management, we will have to backtrack and get to understand how the endpoint management market is actually evolving and what will happen in the near future. First up, from Gartner's research, we know that by the end of 2030, the demand for remote work will increase by at least 30%. Now, this number is unsurprising considering how almost 90% of the organizations have moved or adapted to this remote work culture. Even with some of the organizations going back to office or coming to adapt the new normal, most IT companies or organizations are looking to have this remote work as a permanent option. So IT admins will have to manage all these three types of endpoints, which will definitely be there in your organization. So here are three scenarios or three types of users that you might have. One is your regular users with the VPN access already configured, which means you have your sales team or your roaming users or your on-site support technicians who will mostly be on the go. So they will have a separate set of VPN access configured for them and also have certain security policies and management policies separated individually than from those who are present on premise. So they will not have a greater impact when it comes to adapting the remote work policy. The second type of users on my list is people like us who have predominantly been used to working on premise. So it is for users like us that you IT admins will have to configure a new VPN access and also revoke or modify the existing management and security policies. Certain organizations also have another type of users who do not require any VPN access, which means they access all their corporate data from a cloud-based environment. But the COVID pandemic here has highlighted many of the problems with the traditional VPNs. Emerging zero trust network access enables enterprises to control remote access to specific applications. Now, this might be a more secure option as it hides application from the internet. So this reduces the risk of an attacker piggybacking on the VPN connection to attack other applications. One other major trend that is ha happening and is here to stay with the evolution of remote work is transforming to a cloud-based environment. Cloud-delivered security solutions are growing increasingly popular with the evolution of remote office technology. Software as a service technology allows organizations to better protect their mobile workers and cloud applications by routing traffic through a cloud-based security stack. One other recent trend which is emerging in the organizations as published in Gartner is automating security processes to eliminate repetitive tasks. The availability of automation within security tools have driven the use of more security process automation. This technology automates computer-centric security operation tasks based on predefined rules and templates. So automated security tasks can be performed much faster in a scalable way with very minute errors. However, 
there are diminishing returns to building and maintaining automation. But now, leaders are hoping that they can now invest in automation projects to eliminate repetitive tasks that consume a lot of time, which will leave them more time to focus on other critical security functions. This is a trend which is here to say, no longer just a part of a compliance or legal or auditing issues, privacy is now becoming an increasingly influential a redefined discipline of its own. As a rapidly growing standalone discipline, privacy needs to be more integrated throughout the organization. Specifically, the privacy discipline co-directs the corporate strategy and as such needs to be closely aligned with security. So these were the recent trends which are happening or is bound to stay in the near future. Let us also see the recent IT security challenges which have occurred in organizations across the globe and most commonly due to the COVID-19 pandemic. In March and April 2020, more than 192,000 COVID-related cyber attacks were reported each week. This is a 30% increase in the number of reports cyber attacks compared to the pre-coronavirus. Businesses are now at a greater risk of falling victim to cybercrime due to the large-scale growth of work-from-home environment, customer-facing networks, and also few online cloud services which are being exploited by cyber criminals. According to Data Connector's research, cyber attacks can spread at nine times the rate of COVID-19. They can also lie dormant for months while they stretch. The research points out that these threats or cyber attacks, which they term as cyber pandemics, these could spread much faster and further than a biological virus with an equal or greater economic impact, which means they estimate a global loss of internet, which would cost about $50 billion per day. So we need to ensure or take proper measures that such cyber attacks are thwarted from entering our organizations. Here are the few most frequent attack methods which are used. As you can see, a majority of the cyber attacks happen through mobile malware, DDoS attack, and social engineering. Also closely followed is that about 10% of the attacks are due to advanced persistent theft. Close to 9.5% of the attacks are due to unpatched systems and also ransomware. To ensure that proper security measures are in place, also regarding the privacy of the organization's data, most countries have come up with standards or compliances or regulations that are to be followed by every organization. Let us take a look at them in detail now. The first or the most popular compliance that all of us would have come across is the GDPR or the General Data Protection Regulation. This is now successfully passed its second year mark and with that, the European Commission has issued its first evolution report reporting the highlights that were made, challenges encountered and objectives for moving forward. Additionally, GDPR has also proved itself to be a flexible regulation in support of digital solutions during the coronavirus pandemic. These days, when the substantial portions of the workforce are being sent to work from home, the requirement for robust data privacy and protection is needed now more than ever. So here is where GDPR offers guidance, support, and standards as the world follows into the new routine in response to COVID-19. 
In response to the increasing prevalence of cyber attacks, the Australian Signals Directorate, Australian Cyber Security Centre, ACSC, recently developed a set of strategies to help organizations mitigate common attack vectors. These strategies are known as the Essential Eight. The Essential Eight is divided into three main objectives, which are further divided into eight strategies. The three main objectives here are preventing malware attacks, limiting the extent of cybersecurity incidents, and recovering data and system availability. Also, the few other mandates and compliances which are specified regionally across the globe. The POPI Act of South Africa's data regulation is on stands on par with the existing data protection laws around the world. This is considered to mirror GDPR compliance requirements. You also have the NIST compliance which is an important set of guidelines that aims to ensure the safety and confidentiality of sensitive federal data. HIPAA compliance or HIPAA privacy regulations is one that require healthcare providers and organizations as well as their business associates to develop and follow procedures that ensure confidentiality and security of protected health information when the data is transferred, received, handled, or shared. So with all these mandates specified, IT organizations must comply to these mandates and ensure that their network is completely secure. So the challenge comes to your security and management aspect when you try to adapt to the new normal, where post the pandemic, most of us are still sticking to the work from home routine and a few of the employees have gone back to your organization's network. It is with this diverse mix of devices and employees that IT admins will have to strengthen your security layer. A quick fact here is that from a research of University of Maryland, attackers, hackers attack every 39 seconds on an average 2,200 times a day, which means you need to be on your feet and spot the security loopholes before it's too late. Here, I have a list of six ways where you can easily detect or where there might be issues with your security. Let us look into them in detail. First and foremost on my list is the access to corporate resources. So as we discussed, more and more VPN users are increasing in every organization's network. Now a VPN access is granted at a network level to access your corporate data. So when an endpoint with a VPN access is compromised, it means it is a conduit to your environment. Also, you will have to ensure that proper control is present over the shared resources or the resources of or your corporate resources. Any unauthorized access to your resources can compromise your security layer. Another major factor which is a threat to your security is the use of external devices or storage devices like your USBs, which can cause harm to your endpoints. The next major threat that might occur is due to your BYOD security. Now, close to 60% of the organizations allow employee-owned devices to access their networks. With the remote work being in place, more and more employees prefer to use their own devices to perform both corporate and personal tasks. So an IT admin's task now extends to not just managing your corporate owned devices, but also providing security to your employee owned devices. So when one such employee owned or BYOD device has access to unencrypted personal and corporate data, 
the security of your network may be compromised. Also, when the case comes in case of stolen or misplaced devices of your employees, it may pose a serious threat to your network security. Third on my list is application management. So when you have install applications from untrusted sources, there might be chances that your applications may tend to be malicious, which is why usually in an organization, it is up to the IT admin who can ensure that only trusted applications are installed into your end users devices. So such installation of applications from untrusted sources or access to unauthorized web applications or also blacklisting and blacklisting application usage of blacklisted applications in your network. Such activities can pose threat to your organization's security layer. Then comes the case of your privilege management. So this is the one part that we mentioned with respect to VPN access. Similarly, when it comes to your browser privileges, the addition of malicious add-ons or browser extensions or automatically installing applications by the end user without proper permission from your IT admin can pose threats to your organization's network. Also, providing privileges or root credentials or default administrator's uh, uh, account to your end users or your employees when it is not required for them may grant them access to unauthorized corporate data. So such ways your network security can be exploited. One of the major concern comes with respect to your browsers. As I said, most uh, common entry points of cyber attacks into the network is via browsers. So downloads from untrusted websites or installation from malicious attachments or any harmful files that are present, extensions or add-ons of your browsers can cause serious issues to your IT network. This is one other major concern that every IT admin is usually aware of, which is deployment of critical updates. So usually when there is an up patch update of a zero day exploit or immediately remediating uh, vulnerabilities or also OS updates which are available. Delaying the process of such updates can pose unnecessary threats to your endpoint devices with respect to security and functioning or management issues. So these have to be prioritized with the IT admins and ensure that they are timely delivered to your endpoints, even though they are from a remote location. So with all these issues where you can detect your security loopholes, let me also give you a few pointers on how you can secure your IT network with just one or two simple tips. Here's another quick fact from Gartner that by the end of 2020, the security services are expected to account for 50% of the cybersecurity budgets, which means more and more IT admins are in search for the ultimate security tool. So for completely securing and managing your endpoints, you need to opt for a holistic UEM solution. Manage Engine is proud to say that we have such UEM solution, which is called Desktop Central. Desktop Central is a complete 360 degree endpoint management solution, which performs activities right from deploying your operating system to your regular desktop management activities, uh, your, like your application management, asset management, and also remotely troubleshooting devices with specific mobile device management capabilities, be it your device management, content management, and security management, and also capabilities to man manage your modern endpoints, such as geo-tracking, 
incorporates incomplete wire and also fitting the device in the kiosk mode. And the best part is all of these activities can be performed from one single console. So let me quickly tell you how you can create or secure your remote setup with a few features that are available in Manage Engine Desktop Central. I have six pointers in my list again. Let us look into them in detail. First and foremost is minimizing your attack surface. Here, Desktop Central provides an option to implement a complete zero trust policy for all your network endpoints. You also have the option to eliminate any high risk software, which means as IT admins, you can choose to blacklist applications or automatically uninstall applications which you deem to be malicious. Also, another major feature that is present is managing any vulnerabilities which are present. You can also keep track of any vulnerabilities or security misconfigurations which are present in your network and immediately fix them with the options available. Next, we discussed in detail about the issues that might arise due to BYOD devices. So to completely secure your BYOD devices, you have options such as creating policies to lock down your device while using specific applications. You can also ensure that a proper security access is provided to access any corporate documents. You can also ensure that the data security can be ensured on lost or misplaced devices, which means you can implement a corporate or a complete wipe on devices which are jailbroken or unlost. Similarly, when we come to application management, you have a few pointers where you can ensure that malicious applications are totally prohibited from your network. You can deem applications or categorize them based on their activities to be either blacklisted, whitelisted, or graylisted. Also, a major step that is in control of IT admin's hands is the ability to install only enterprise-approved applications. As sysadmins, with one click, you can install these applications in your end user's devices. Even if your end user requires a few applications, they can choose to ask permission from your IT admins before installing such applications. Also, you can manage application-related privileges, ensuring that yet your end user does not uninstall default applications which are present. There are a few other steps where you can conduct your cyber hygiene measures. One such measure is to secure your browsers. To secure your browsers, you can create policies to apply a web filter and also lock down the browsers to trusted applications. One other feature that is present is to detect and remove any harmful add-ons or extensions which are present in your employees' browsers. As we discuss this point, the first major step of an every IT admin is to stay on top of critical vulnerabilities, which means you will have to detect as and when a patch is released, prioritize the patches based on the vulnerabilities, and also automatically initiate the patch deployment process in such that all the patches should be reaching the end user's devices, whether they are present in the network or in a remote location. Also, you should ensure that your applications too are updated from time to time. So all of these are with respect to endpoint security. One other major part is your security configurations. 
Palace Engine Desktop Central provides you 30 plus configurations using which you can impose or implement security policies such as imposing stringent password policies, strengthening your firewall security, and also policies like securing your endpoints against unknown storage devices like USBs. So these are with respect to endpoint security. But there is another aspect that every IT admin will agree with me, I'm sure, which is endpoint management. So endpoint management involves remotely troubleshooting your devices and monitoring your endpoints and your employees' performance. The first step to remotely troubleshooting your devices is to gain unattended remote access that too with one simple click. So when you have a remote connection established, you should be able to transfer files dynamically during a live session to troubleshoot during the remote session. You can also be able to collaborate with other technicians and also record the remote sessions for audit purposes. When it comes to monitoring the activities of your remote endpoints, Desktop Central aids you in generating reports of your complete IT asset. So this can give you a visibility of all the hardware and software details that are present in your network. Along with this, you can also monitor the user performance based on the user logon and log of reports. Also, in case you want to check or ensure that the corporate owned device is used only to perform your day to day app activities and not just sit back or relax, watch a movie, you can use monitor or meter the application usage. Applications like uTorrent also poses security threat and also hinders the performance of an end user. Your users might be downloading movies during their business hours. So you have an option to blacklist such applications from your network. Also, a major factor here in contributing to monitoring the employee performance is monitoring the user's web activity. So all of these being said, a UEM solution will cater to both your security and management functions. As we have seen, endpoint management has evolved from client management, enterprise mobility management, and combining capabilities of mobile device management. And as such, it is now present as a UEM. But what is the next step that you expect? Well, as, as we discussed in one of the recent trends which are here to stay, we know that UEM is also now available as a complete cloud-based solution. We are also proud to introduce Manage Engine Desktop Central as a complete cloud-hosted version. You can access Desktop Central from the below given link. Let me quickly take you to the page. This is where you can sign up with your details and with one click ensure that you have and manage unlimited computers with a 30-day free trial version of Desktop Central Cloud. A quick overview of what Desktop Central provides in the cloud version is that you will have the same capabilities which are present in the on-premise edition, which includes your regular patch management capabilities, applications management, complete IT asset details, and also 30 plus configurations for your regular endpoint management and security. Also with this, you can perform management activities on your mobile devices and on your modern endpoints, which means that with a cloud hosted solution in place, you can ensure that you simply deploy configurations to manage all your devices with ease. These are some predefined configurations which are in place. You can also make sure that you deploy uh, 
custom reports or custom configuration of uh, scripts which can automatically be deployed to all the endpoints in the organization. So you may ask what exactly are the advantage of moving or hosting an endpoint management tool in a cloud-based environment? Well, one major step is that it will reduce the cost of your physical infrastructure. Also, you can eliminate the need for additional security components that you might have for an on-premise solution. Say when you host a regular on-premise endpoint management or security solution, you, can, you will have to need or configure a secondary server for backup or also provide additional security layer for your on-premise server machine. So all of these will be eliminated when you host desktop central instances on cloud. Desktop central's data centers are located in four major regions. Now, in case you are trying out the features or already are customers of desktop central on-premise, rest assured that a simple few-click process is available to completely migrate all the data from your on-premise to the cloud edition. A quick data from cybersecurity vendors tell us that cybercrime is projected to hit about $6 trillion annually by 2021, which means we have to take equal measures in ensuring that our security layer and the management capabilities of endpoints are intact because I'm sure as IT admins, all of you will agree with me in saying that security and management is an interlinked process and that for an IT admin, both of these have to be equally supported. So here is where a UEM solution will help you out without any glitches. So let me end this presentation with a simple line. Endpoint management and security is an everyday battle. But then, how prepared are you and your organization for the new normal? Thank you all for joining us in this session. This is Nisha Balaji signing off. You can always reach out to me via email at nisha.b at manageengine.com. Uh, you can now keep your questions coming our way. I'll be happy to answer any question or any queries regarding to the presentation or regarding the product capabilities. Thank you all once again. Uh, thank you, Nisha, for the session. And the floor is now open for Q&A. So please feel free to post all your questions in the questions panel, or you can uh, alternatively put them on chat. OK, we have a first question here. How to secure or manage external storage devices uh, such as USB? Over to you, Nisha. OK, so management of storage devices such as USB is a simple policy that is available predefined in Desktop Central, which means you can configure or modify the policy which is present and choose to block or restrict access or grant permissions to your trusted USB devices. I hope this answers your question. In case of any queries, again, you can reach out to me. Uh, we have a second question. What are the features of Desktop Central Cloud? So Desktop Central Cloud offers all your regular endpoint management capabilities, which means your usual patch management, mobile device management, software deployment or applications management, and complete ID asset management or having a detailed overview of your inventory. Along with this, like I said, you can also perform your remote troubleshooting process with the capabilities which are present. Say, take instant control of your uh, end user's devices or also perform remote log or wake on LAN capabilities. For more information, 
you can log on to the site which is provided, which is manage engine slash products slash desktop central slash free trial dot HTML. All right, we have a couple more minutes for taking some questions from uh, the audience. Okay, we now have another question. Can desktop central cloud encrypt the data of uh, the mobile devices and other endpoints? Yes, yes, we do. It desktop central's cloud's mobile device manage cap management capabilities mirrors to those which are present on desktop central on-premise, which means you can encrypt or completely secure data which is transferred across your organization. I think for more details with respect to desktop central cloud, you can always reach out to me via email or you can reach out to our desktop central cloud support channel. OK, uh, this will be the last and final question, uh, everyone. So the question goes like, what would be the ideal action plan to mitigate any critical vulnerability? So in desktop central, you have a component which is vulnerability management, which means it can detect any vulnerabilities which are present in your network. Say it's going to be missing patches or any security misconfigurations and as such. So you can immediately have a closer look at what are the vulnerabilities which are present in your network and also remediate with the instant actions which is present in Desktop Central's console. So in case of any missing security configurations, you can immediately choose to deploy such security policies to your endpoints or end users devices. Okay, we still have one more question. Uh, so Linda asks, is it should be on cloud or is there any on-premise solutions? Well, uh, if you're referring to an endpoint management, yes. Manage Engine's endpoint management suite of solutions extend to over 12 different products. Desktop Central is available both as an on-premise solution and on cloud. Trust this answers your question, Leka. All right, everyone. Uh, we've reached the end of the session. And uh, if you have more questions lined up and if you would like to contact uh, Nisha directly, uh, we'll share her email ID on chat. And you can also visit our Cloud Solutions page to download uh, our Cloud Solutions Primer and take a look at Manage Engine's wide array of uh, cloud native and cloud ready solutions. So thank you so much, everyone, for participating in this session today. And thank you, Nisha, for a wonderful session. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you, Lika. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, all of you, for joining us in this session.